Alright folks, got Mike's Imperial Guard Army on the block now. Some of you may have seen a preliminary on that. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what's in it. There's 10 tanks, a Medusa, Basilisk, Lehman Russ Battle Tank, Lehman Russ with the giant plasma gun thing, I think it's an Executioner. You've got one, uh, two, three Chimeras. Uh, warning, one of the Chimeras only has base work on it and isn't uh, completely finished. We can do that quite easily, though. A Hellhound, that's current edition. A decked-out Lehman Russ uh, battle tank. Actually, I think uh, that conversion's meant to be a Vanquisher. You have a Sentinel. A Griffin Mortar, another Sentinel. And here is a Vanquisher turret. It does come with these cases. There's a Sable Army Transport and a Games Workshop case. There are 80 infantry minimum, uh, possibly a little bit more than that. Here you've got uh, three Preachers. Those are all painted real nice. Actually, a fourth one there. Uh, converted uh, Junior Officer. A couple of Commissars here. Uh, most of the Cadians are in this black armor, uh, which I think is really slick looking. Here you've got a converted Marbo. Uh, you've got a um, tech priest, three servitors with heavy bolters. Uh, here you've got, uh, this is a commissar done by a, a European company, just so you know we didn't paint that. Uh, some stormtroopers. You've got uh, more veterans, I believe that's a commissar. Unit of Penal Legion. You've got uh, ten um, uh, Steel Legion, those are the old um, pewter figures, and then here's uh, more regular troops. Oh, and uh, one last thing, there are three heavy weapons troops, which I brought out. These aren't part of the game. They are just, um, you know, I was taking some pictures. So, three uh, heavy weapon teams, mortars. By the way, I have a ton more Cadians on hand. And so it would be really easy to expand this army if you felt so inspired. recently got an Imperial Guard trade-in. These are not for sale by themselves. They're just part of stock in case someone wants to commission them. It's uh, a bunch of Ogrins, a ton of Cadian infantry. That's all that's in there. Uh, but that also includes, I think, 20 heavy weapons teams. You've got um, another Sentinel, three Chimeras, a uh, Lehman Russ battle tank here, and something on the bottom. Let's see what this is. So yeah, three Chimeras, and then whatever this is. Looks like another Hellhound, current range. That's the good, good looking one. And uh, that's about it for that. Hey Blue Table fans, wanted to show you something new. This is from Custom Kingdoms. Link provided. This is more steampunk terrain. I cannot say enough good things about this company. Great pricing for what you get. Amazing, like everything matches up. Looks good. Painted well. Lots of detail. I gotta tell you, this is really, really, really amazing stuff. I can't get enough. I think I have like 12 pieces of it now. And that will actually populate and make quite a village. So these are two new ones. Don't know what they're called. But uh, they keep on releasing this fabulous stuff. So check it out. You know, it looks really dark on that table. That's a better shot. That side. Let's look on this side. Isn't that great? I love those round porthole style windows. And I love the front door on this one with that round window. Those are really, really, really super duper. All right, folks, here is a Grey Knight's army. We went with the uh, shoulder-mounted weapons on these. Whoops, that is supposed to come off, by the way. Yep, there's a magnetized point in there. A couple of Razorbacks, lots of infantry. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Definitely liking it. Over here we have some Dark Elves, Dark Elves in blue. This one is very close to completion, probably at least 3,000 points on it. In fact, uh, we've got the um, repeater bolt throwers on there. Yeah, that's good. Look at these orcs. These are done level two, just the basics. 
but certainly good enough to put on the table. A little public service announcement. When a commission is made, there's three distinct like areas of it. There's a cost of the model, then there's painting, and then there's assembly. And so uh, a while back on some video I said a new client get 30% off the cost of models. That's just the cost of models column, like the actual cost of the raw materials, not assembly and painting. So I just wanted to clarify that in case there was some confusion. Most people do get it and they ask for uh, some clarification there.